Yes, thank you very much. So this is actually my first lightning talk. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity for this. Uh, let's jump right in. So talk space adventures or how to miss the code point to add more terrible puns. And yes, as you guessed, this is about Unicode. Uh, Unicode is fun. Nowadays, you can actually write code like this, even though you shouldn't. Uh, every compiler out there takes it. Uh, in MSVC, you need to put a byte order mark at the start of the file. But other than that, no command line necessary, no warnings, nothing. This is fine. So, uh, yeah, what can you do with Unicode? Well, there's the old Greek question mark prank. Basically, the Greek question mark looks like a semicolon, is a different Unicode code point. So if you put them in the code, it looks right, but it's wrong. And you get a syntax error, like missing semicolon, even though it looks like it's there. And of course, Clang has a warning for that, um, which you see there. But that's that's old news. What other fun stuff can we do? So you all know our regular space characters here, like space, tab, CRLF. And you probably also know no break space and zero with space. Um, but there's more. In fact, there's a lot more. You can go to Wikipedia for a comprehensive list of all the Unicode white space characters and all their different properties. Um, they are not provided in a, in a form that, uh, that I needed here. So I went and gone, uh, I went through them. So these, the ones I listed here are not zero width and they cannot be used in identifiers. Pretty much, you know, like normal space. But that's pretty boring. Um, what, these spaces are allowed in or as identifiers and are zero width. So the zero width space, the zero width non-joiner, the zero width joiner, and the word joiner are valid identifier components. Um, and they are zero width. Clang's being a bit of a spoil spot here. Uh, it wants with careful, these characters might not be visible, but let's press ahead. There's also the reverse. There's white space that is zero width, like line tabulation, form feed, and the Mongolian vowel separator, which uh, only works in Clang and produces a warning, but do you have the other two? So with that, you can do fun stuff. Uh, I was unable to come up with much creative stuff in the, the day that I had to prepare this talk, but here's something you can do. So given... <laughs> Given what we've seen before, clearly we can assign one to the integer keyword and then check if it's one. And indeed, this compiles. Um, no warnings, no command lines, no defines, nothing. You can go to the Godbolt link. It's it's all clean and it prints keywords. So yeah, um, why? I mean, first of all, this is probably a good example to convince your coworkers to enable warnings and to possibly not accept Unicode in your code base. You can also try to make it an April Fool's joke and then have it bomb on Reddit or get Roomba on Stack Overflow. So maybe don't do that. Uh, go and try and win the International Office Gated C contest. Yeah, um, my creativity was limited here, but I'm very curious to see what people come up with. Thank you very much. <laughs>